So in this video, we're going to have a look at filtering and saving list views. So the first example I'm going to use is um, a large inventory list that we want to be able to quickly just filter based on some preset views that, that we want to save. So I've not got any saved views yet, so I'm just going to click on the filter, filter pane at the top right here. Um, you can see at the moment the view is just showing all, which is fine. So the first example is just a filter to say, I only want to view items that have an assembly bill of materials. So assembly bill of material exists, and we can see that that's then filtering for me. Now, as opposed to me having to do this every time, what I can do is I can click Save As, and then we can do something like assembly bill of materials. Excellent. So that's now saved. Every time I come back to my item list, I can click on assembly bill of materials to quickly condense that list. Now, it's not just for sort of yes and no's and that sort of stuff. You can use um, filters that may be sort of greater than or less than. So let's say, for example, I wanted a list that shows all of my items that are greater than 500 pounds. I can do this. So I'll just choose filter list again, and then we'll do unit price is greater than 500 we can see that we've, we've got another list there. So if I click Save again, we can do, let's just call it expensive, expensive items. There we go. So very quick, once you get used to the way that the filters work, um, to start creating these saved list views to make navigation a little bit easier for you. Okay. So that's the first example using items. Um, we can do the same in other areas of the system. So let's just go into customers, so sales and customers, um, and do a similar sort of thing. So it may be, and you can see my previous filter here, so I'll just backtrack a little bit. Okay, so all of my customers are here. What I now want to do is just show customers that have an outstanding balance or a balance due of more than a thousand pounds. So again, I'll go into filter, we'll go into balance due, and then we'll do more than a thousand. Okay, and then that will refine my list to show all of my customers um, that have a balance due of more than a thousand pounds. So once again, just save that as I need to um, excessive balance due. There we go. And as my data updates, obviously that, that filtered view will update accordingly as well. So really handy. As I say, it's, it's not a massive thing, but you will find that over time you start building more views to, to make your working life a little bit easier. Hopefully that's useful to you.